I am B. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, start again. Hiya, my name's Greg Hall. I am a videographer for Daitam Films, where I record live shows, and I'm also a freelance photographer where I do the likes of weddings, live shows, charity events, corporate events, a little bit of everything, but mainly videographer, photographer, and I'm based in Edinburgh. I shoot on a Sony A7X Mark II. I swear by a 24 by 70 mil and a 50 mil prime lens. They're like my two go-tos. And I also kind of like the idea of, I'm trying to think really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much. Hiya, hiya. Oh, 100%, yeah. Absolutely. Dog in a cone. I love that. Okay, my approach to shooting is to kind of get up close and personal as much as I possibly can, whether it be weddings, live shows, corporate events or anything like that. I like to make sure that I'm able to kind of catch the finer details that you might not catch um, in other videos that are made by other uh, content creators, videographers, photographers, everything from like catching jewellery, um, odd glances from one band member to another. I kind of like, I like the little things. I think the little things are something that can really set um, the content that you make apart from other people's. My editing approach is that I primarily use, for photos I use Lightroom. I do all of my photo editing on my phone, which I understand is an absolute sin to some photographers. And when it comes to video, I like to use Premiere Pro because Why do I like to use Premiere Pro? That's a really good point. I use Premiere Pro because that's the first one that I actually picked up and that's the one that I felt was the most intuitive and most suited to me. My approach when it comes to editing is that when it comes to photos, I'm a big advocate for green and noise and I kind of like the rougher um, sort of looking shoots. I kind of feel that it's nice to kind of get those finer details, but I don't feel that this approach of having everything looking pristine and perfect and sharp as possible is something that can set your work apart from someone else's. I think that's the kind of general premises that people shoot with to begin with, but once you find your niche, you start to realize that the photo as a whole can be perfect whilst being imperfect, if that makes sense, yeah. My hot take when it comes to photos is that shooting in JPEG is not as much of a sin because the client's not really gonna know the difference between shooting in JPEG or shooting in RAW or shooting in fine detail or if the file is compressed or anything. As long as it looks good and it suits them, that's great. The only people that are gonna have an issue with you shooting in JPEG are other creatives. And I would say that you just shouldn't let that bother you at all because it's your way of shooting and if that works for you, then go for it. Uh, when, shooting, when shooting video, my hot take is that using continuous autofocus is probably one of the best things that you can do. It's a fail safe and it's not something that you should avoid doing because you feel that you should be able to get the perfect focus by doing everything manually. Use the tools that you actually have at your disposal. If you can actually make use of those things and actually put out a better product at the end of it all, then you're winning regardless. My photo bucket list. My photo video bucket list is a Converge Airplane Outbreak this year, which I'm so thankful to be working again. And if there's one other artist that I could shoot or film, um, I know it's not gonna happen, but if I could shoot Salesen, or if I could shoot Still Remains, or if I could shoot someone like, like Ash Nico or Poppy, that, I think that would be insane. I'd love that.